Number 52. A crude approximation of voice production is to consider the breathing passages and mouth to be a resonating tube closed at one end. Letter A. What is the fundamental frequency if the tube is 0.24 meters long, taking air temperature to be 37 degrees Celsius? All right. Check out number 42. Went through a general overview of the concepts here. Um, so we have a tube closed at one end, so we know we're going to be using the formula that the frequency of the nth harmonic will be equal to the nth harmonic multiplied by the velocity of the sound in that particular medium, divided by then four times the length of the tube, where the harmonics can be the first, the third, the fifth, the seventh, the, op the odd values. Alrighty, so... Now, we are asked to find the fundamental frequency, and you know the fundamental frequency correlates with the first harmonic. So therefore, I'm asked to find the frequency of the first harmonic, and the n is 1. The velocity of sound, did they tell it to me? No, of course they didn't, but they gave me the air temperature. So whatever we got to do, we have to take that air temperature and convert that basically into a velocity of sound. Or, in other words, we have to figure out how the air temperature would affect the sound, and we understand that we have a formula over here that relates that, right? So the formula will be the 331 multiplied then by the square root of the Kelvin temperature divided by 273, all divided now by 4 times the length of that particular tube. And now we have everything we're going to need. So this is 331 multiplied by the Kelvin temperature. So the Kelvin temperature is going to be 273 plus than that Celsius temperature they gave us, right, which was the 37. So 37, right, and then that's all divided by under that radical, 273 divided them by four times that length of the tube, and the length of the tube they told us is 0.24, uh, 0.24 meters. All right, and voila. Just simply plug that on into the calculator now. So there's going to be 331 times square root, parenthesis, 273 plus the 37, divided them by 273 all under that radical, and then divide that now by parenthesis 4 times 0.24, close the parentheses, and what do we get? We get about 367 or so. 300 and 67 hertz. All right, so that's the fundamental frequency. So that takes care of letter A. Letter B, what would this frequency become if the person replaced the air with helium? Assume the same temperature depends for helium. Okay, so basically our formula over here, right, the VW formula, is really I can, I can make that adjustment. Uh, I can make one adjustment there. All right, so this is for letter B. So the formula VW equals basically VW, which is a VW at zero degrees Celsius, then multiplied by the square root of the Kelvin temperature divided by 273. Now, the reason why we have 331 in that formula is because the velocity of sound in air at zero degrees Celsius is 331. But that formula really has the generic form of this, so that I just wrote. So now what I realize if I, if I want to find it for helium, then that means I have to know, I have to know, so I got to look it up, right, in the table in the text, all right, at the beginning of this chapter, the uh, velocity of, of sound in helium at zero degrees Celsius is 965. And then it has, it told us to assume the same temperature dependence, so meaning assume the same temperature dependence as the square root of the Kelvin temperature over 273. So basically, the velocity then of the sound in helium, okay, will be equal to the two, excuse me, the 965, 965 multiplied then by the square root of that Kelvin temperature. So there's 273 plus the 37, all divided then by 273. Why don't we just get a value here? So the velocity of the sound in, I don't know why I wrote water, helium is going to be, so this is 965 times on the square root of 273 plus 37, all divided by 273. So now the, the, the speed of sound is going to be actually 1,028. 1,028 about. And that's in meters per second. So now this is the value we're going to use when we plug it into our formula over here. Okay? I already did all this math just on the side. All right? So now the formula will become, and I'm going to jump over A to the other side, so now it's going to be the fundamental frequency is going to be equal to the fundamental harmonic number one uh, multiplied by the velocity of that sound, which is 1,028 about, divided by then four times the length of that tube, which was 0.24. And now why don't we just plug it on in? So let's see. So we're going to get that value divided then by four times 0.24. And now here we get a value of about uh, 1,071. Okay, so 1.07 times 10 to the third, 
and this is in terms of hertz, all right? So this should kind of make sense. You know that if you've ever done it with helium or whatnot, or you've seen it, you know when someone inhales helium, right, all of a sudden the frequency of their voice goes up? Well, why is that? Well, here's the reason, okay? So the frequency has now gone up because the velocity of sound in that medium of helium is a lot higher than that of, uh, of uh, velocity of sound in just plain old air. So what that means is that as the velocity of the sound goes up, the frequency goes up. And if frequency goes up, higher frequency means higher pitch. Ta-da. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Have a great day.